what, what, what the ladies talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Stevie Wonder, one of the greatest voices, humanitarians, and all-around great men, has called Kanye West out for his remarks about slavery being a choice for black Americans. Stevie said this, there's been a lot of talk about what was said by Kanye. I want people to understand that the truth is the truth and a lie is a lie. We all know that slavery was not a choice. So I just think that people need to understand that if you know your history, if you know the truth, you know that's just foolishness. So let's go back to Kanye's exact quote. When you hear about slavery for 400 years, for 400 years, that sounds like a choice. How much you want to bet if you live to be another 1,000 years old, you won't hear Kanye West or anybody who agreed with him say that the Holocaust was a choice. You especially will not hear any entertainers ever, ever utter those words. You will never hear entertainers crack jokes about the Holocaust. Even so-called black entertainers, especially comedians who are not really the, so, the standard buck dancer, they crack jokes about slavery. I have never heard a funny slavery joke. Anybody who knows the damage that slavery done, if you really understand it, if you really understand how it destroyed families, how people jumped off of slave boats and committed suicide, how they sold off mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers and aunts and uncles, grandmothers and grandfathers like it was nothing. They sent people's family members hundreds of miles away from them and many times they never saw them again. If they did see them, oftentimes they might see them one time in passing or they'll see them when they're old and gray, when they were split up from them when they were a child. And this is supposed to be a choice. This is supposed to be something people make fun about. Again, you will never hear comedians make fun of the Holocaust. That's why when they try to make fun of slavery and say, it's just jokes, get over it, I say, shut your coward ass up. When I hear you say, talking about the Jews and cracking jokes about the Holocaust, I might just believe that you're being sincere. But until then, shut your coward ass up. You will never hear Kanye West say that the Holocaust was a choice. I'm looking forward to that. If he say that, then I'll be like, oh, damn, Kanye, I think he might be crazy for real. Because that's career suicide, and they all know it. That's why I know they know what the hell they're doing. They know they're beans from the cornbread. They know when to push that button. They know when to smash that gas and hit when to pump those brakes. They know. But they do this to the black community because they feel like the black community ain't going to do shit about it. And they're going to be able to come back to the black community, crawl back anytime they want to because the black community are the most forgiving people in the history of civilization 
you can kill their whole damn family before they even identify a suspect, the black person. Oh, I forgive. I forgive them because, you know, I can't go to heaven unless I forgive. God said, let who he, he who is without sin cast the first stone. And you wonder why you have all of these grievances, these severe grievances against the black community. We got to stop giving these suckers a pass. Stevie Wonder can't see, yet Kanye is the one who's blind. I love how these conservatives are loving on Kanye. When just a mere three weeks ago or so, they would have hanged him from a tree while playing a banjo. No more talk. What the talking about?